All right, I got this picture of a young uh, dingo pup, American dingo pup, and uh, I scaled it to about the size of what I had, because I think that scales just about right for the uh, size of the piece I'm working on, but I think I'm going to have to increase his uh, size just a little bit more. I'm going to use the uh, print to uh, give me the uh, proportions for the clay that I'm going to work on here. And that way I can get an accurate uh, portrayal of the uh, puppy. Time to play with some clay. lumber yard right now to get some lumber so that I can increase the uh, width of my uh, base that this clay is on uh, so that I can add the dog to it. All right, I'm going to be back in a few hours. One way I keep myself in the studio and I can buy clay to work with and pay for the internet to put the uh, videos that I shoot on to the web is through my sales of my uh, instructional videos. Um, if you're so inclined, uh, check the link below this video uh, where I have a review of all nine of my current instructional videos and uh, see if you possibly find anything interesting there. Um, I pretty much give you my over 50 years of experience in sculpting and uh, I'd really appreciate it if you'd uh, consider purchasing one or two or even all my videos. Um, they're streaming online on Vimo and uh, you need a passcode to see them but that works forever as long as you have that passcode and the link so please uh, consider that and let's get busy on sculpting now end of promotion. All right, today's been spent building a base extension because like I said yesterday, I've got to have enough room around the clay to make a mold of the clay. I probably should actually increase the width of that, but I'll stick with what I got right now. Um, Anyway, I have to design this so I can take the dog piece out and work on it separately and be able to put it back in. And so I've uh, designed this base so I can do that. I've had to put this whole thing on a, a, a wider board, which is an old warpy board. So I got pieces of wood that don't quite line up with the uh, edge of this board. But... I'll work that out. Anyway, that's what I've been doing. I'm going to uh, glue this down right now. Okay, that's down. Now I gotta make sure the glue's not coming out from underneath. There we go. And this board will sit right there. I had to bring everything up to this board. This is what happens when you start a piece with a, and then you change your idea about halfway through. You got a jury rig. But I've also got to be able to pick up the whole clay and put it in my back of my van and carry it to the foundry when it comes time. So, all right, I'm just going to let this glue set up tonight. Uh, I'm trying to decide what to do with this. I got to anchor this down. I think what I'll do is I'll do that from underneath. But this is done in such a way 
that I can pull this out and then put it back in. Which means I know need another piece of board right there. Elmer's glue. I'm just going to let that uh, set up overnight. Put the uh, drill on there just to hold that clay to, uh, that uh, board down. I don't care if it's uneven here. I just need an extra space here. So anyway, that's how this is working out. Yeah, I knew this is going to take uh, a lot of time to do. So that's why I couldn't get into my studio today. I've got to set up my uh, turntable for my dog. That I'm gonna work out, work on, and uh, gotta figure that one out too. I'll probably have to do it on this side. Let's see what boards I've got. All right, <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna continue here for a little while longer. And then I'm going to call it quits. All right. Good night, everybody. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.